Solve the system of equations. A squared minus BC equals 1, B squared minus CA equals 2, and C squared minus AB equals 3. Firstly, let's generalize this system of equations. Let's just solve this system of equations. Replace x, y, and z for 1, 2, and 3. So we just solve for a, and, for a, b, and c, this system of equations, a squared minus bc equals x, b squared minus ca equals y, and c squared minus ab equals z, where x, y, z are positive real numbers. So firstly, what shall we do? Notice that the form of our left-hand sides are quite interesting. A squared minus bc. So now, let's firstly square the first equation and then subtract the product of the other two. So therefore, we can also get an x squared minus y times z on the right-hand side with the same form as our left-hand sides. So firstly, square the first equation and subtract the product of the other two from it. Then you can see on our left and our right hand side we have x squared minus y times z and it has the same form as a squared minus bc. Expand it. It is a to the power of 4 minus 2 times a squared bc plus b squared c squared minus b squared c squared minus a squared bc plus ab cubed plus ac cubed equals x squared minus y times c. Here we have plus b squared c squared and minus b squared c squared, so they cancel out each other, and minus 2 times this one minus this one. So therefore, we have a to the power of 4 minus 3 times a squared bc plus a times b cubed plus a times c cubed, and this one is equal to x squared minus yz. Now, if we take out an a, then we have a times a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3 times a b c on the, right hand, on the left hand side, and we have x squared minus y z on the right hand side. The first equation squared minus the second equation times the third equation is just this one. So from the subtraction of the square of the first equation and the product of the other two, we get this equation. Similarly, we can get b times a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc. This one should be y squared minus z times x. And c times c a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc equals z squared minus xy. Very good. We get a new system of equations about a, b, and c with parameters x, y, and z being positive real numbers. And yeah, this term is quite annoying. So let's substitute it. Let it be, for example, k. Then we just get a times k is equal to this, and b times k, and c times k. So, yes. Notice that our right hand sides still have the same form. So, what now we can do is Subtract the product of the second equation and the third equation from the square of the first one. Since they have the same form as these ones, so x squared minus yz all squared minus 
y squared minus dx times z squared minus xy is equal to x times x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3 times xyz. It should have the same form as this one. It's equal to ak or squared minus bk times ck. So it is k squared times a squared minus bc, and a squared minus bc is x, so it is k squared times x. Now, because x is not zero, it is positive. So we can get k is just equal to positive or negative x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz. And now, what are a, b, and c? a is just x squared minus yz over k, b is y squared minus zx over k, and c is z squared minus xy over k. So, a, b, c are just x squared minus yz over k, y squared minus zx over k, and z squared minus xy over k. Notice that there are two pairs of solutions. Why? Because k has two values, one positive and the other negative. So x is just 1, y is 2, z is 3, and k is just positive or negative square root of this one. So just substitute the numbers for x, y, and z, then you'll find out all the solution pair. Then the then you'll find then you then you find out two solutions. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.